A large drop in the number of businesses entering into insolvency in 2020, but this won't last long. A look at the latest bounce back and Seabill's loan figures and how small businesses have stayed resilient. All of this in the latest Business Finance Bulletin. One of the enduring puzzles of 2020 was why so few firms have entered into some type of insolvency arrangement. Well, the insolvency service has now released the figures looking at the whole of 2020 and the last quarter. So let's take a look at the whole year first. During 2020, uh, firms entering into some sort of insolvency arrangement totaled 12,557. Now, interestingly, that is a fall of 27% on 2019. Now, considering everything that's gone on, fewer firms entered into insolvency than they did in 2019. And in fact, that 12,557 firms is actually the lowest it's been since 1989. Now, why has this been? Well, I've mentioned these reasons in previous bulletins, but very quickly, the government has obviously thrown a lot of cash at businesses between all the furlough schemes, a VAT deferment, the bounce back loan C bills, all of that has proved a vital lifeline for businesses and kept them, in some cases, artificially going. Next up, there's been a big log jam in the courts. They've not been able to hear these petitions um, for getting businesses into insolvency. And so there's a big backlog. And also, there's been a moratorium on actions as creditors can take against businesses in certain circumstances in terms of winding up petitions. So all of this has meant that there's been fewer firms entering into insolvency. However, the tide's beginning to turn because the latest report shows that in quarter four, there were 3,071 firms that went into insolvency, and that was an increase of 17% on quarter three. So we can see that perhaps now the tide's beginning to turn and the pressure is beginning to bear on many businesses. So what can you do? Well, naturally, as I've said in previous bulletins, if you are in a precarious financial position, seek advice. Go to speak to your accountant, your business advisor, or in worst case positions, go and speak to an insolvency practitioner. These are the ones particularly who will help you, can you guide you through this process to make sure that you safeguard yourself and your business. How much money have businesses borrowed under the various government loan support schemes? Well, the latest monthly figures have been released by the British Business Bank, looking at the four main schemes, being the bounce back loan, the C-bills, the larger C-bills and the future fund. In total, across all of these schemes, businesses have borrowed £70.7 billion, yet there's just under £71 billion of fresh cash has been injected in order to keep businesses going. The total number of facilities or loans outstanding now amounts to one million. 559,026. So 1.5 million loans now out there supporting businesses. Let's take a look at the two popular schemes, the bounce back loan and the C bills. First of all, the bounce back loan, that's where you can borrow up to £50,000, a very popular uh, with small businesses due to the lower amount. There, the total amount borrowed so far comes to £44.7 billion. Total number of loans now stands at one million. 471,001 loan. I wonder who's got that one loan. Looking at the C bills, and this one is where you apply for more than £50,000. Well, I say it's a smaller amount, but the total amount outstanding now is £20.8 billion, and the number of loans is 87,529. Now, turn it back to the bounce back loan. Of course, if you had a bounce back loan very early doors and you found it is now not enough because you run out of money, well, of course, the Chancellor back in November allowed you to apply for a top up. And some interesting figures are now coming out as regards how many businesses are applying to top up their existing bounce back loan because they didn't take the full allocation first time round. The total number of top ups now comes to 83,173, with the total amount of money topped up amounting to 740 million pounds. So clearly that top up was a great idea for those businesses who thought that perhaps the economy would have turned around by now. And so that extra injection of cash has no doubt been well received. So as ever, a very popular schemes. And if you haven't applied, don't forget you've got up until the 31st of March 2021. But who knows, that scheme may be extended. So watch this bulletin for further news.
I'm sure you'll agree that the business word of 2020 was pivot, where businesses have been pivoting in order to secure their future. I wonder if the word of 2021 is going to be resilience, where businesses are now looking to be more resilient and build resilience into their model in order to secure their future in 2021 and beyond. Well, this is a theme from a new report undertaken by Small Business Britain and TSB Bank. Now, the report has highlighted a level of optimism amongst small businesses. 34% of them said that they were somewhat optimistic about the future. 30% of them said that they were kind of neither optimistic or pessimistic, sitting in the middle. Well, at least we've got about 60 odd percent of businesses who are clearly up for the challenge. And that comes out of the report. 55% of businesses said they do see challenges ahead. However, they're up for it. They're going to be pressing ahead. So what have businesses done in order to make themselves more resilient in 2020? Well, the report highlights that 53% of them have taken advantage of the various government schemes, the furlough, um, the VAT deferment of all the grants that have been made available. All of that has been welcomed cash in order to keep them going. 44% of them said that they have now looked at diversifying their income and revenue streams, looking at different products and different ways of getting hold of customers, particularly around digital, how we use digital technology to diversify our income streams. And thirdly, 30% of them have access bounce back loans in order to access cash. Now, what have they done with their money? Well, interestingly, 30% of them say they still have their bounce back loan money sat to one side in a savings account, and probably they will be paying it back just before the first repayment is due. Very sensible. 27% used the money to pay urgent expenses, perhaps creditors who couldn't wait any longer. And 22% of them have used the money in order to invest for the future. So they're good use of money that has been accessed by the bounce back loan scheme. So really interesting report there. And I'm sure that resilience is going to be something that's on the minds of every business owner in 2021. Well, that's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share and subscribe to this channel. So that's it. I look forward to being with you again next time. In the meantime, have a great, successful and profitable